Hello, Marlene here with Master of the Manor, where we came to these dark woods for a purpose, but so far have had no success. What we find instead will change the course of our night, and maybe our whole life. <laughs> so this game has three endings, we're of course going to try to get all of them. Let's do it. Let's uh, see what these woods have in store for us. Rumors and legends have swirled for years. A mysterious something lives in these woods. Looks like Bigfoot. Is this a Bigfoot story? I came to find it. But the nights are getting cold. My supplies are getting low. I have found nothing. Perhaps there is nothing to find. Tonight will be my final night. Tomorrow I travel home. Well, let's hopefully see something interesting, yeah? My research notes. Eyewitness testimony, trail cams, audio recordings. Even the occasional missing person. Ooh. This is supposed to be a hot spot. I can't believe my trip was a bust. Not yet, man. Still got one night to go. Yeah, grab the flashlight. A acquired. Press F to use. Oh, what is that? Oh, is that a light? A car? Out here? Well, let's go check it out. That is our task. Investigate the woods. Okay, let's do it. Press E to leave tent. Done. Oh. Oh, is that a road? I don't see a road. Or even any space. Hang on. Am I just am I just not going the right way? How did the car fit through all these trees? Well, where did my tent go? Okay, shit. I'm already lost. Me in the woods? Not a good combo. I need a freaking compass or something. We'll just wander. We'll see something eventually. We'll at the very least stumble upon one of the endings. Which might just be one of them is get really freaking lost in the woods. No problem, I can do that like the best of them. We found a wall. <laughs> we'll just follow this. Well, our task is just investigate the woods. <laughs> I mean, we're doing that, right? No matter how lost we get, we're investigating the woods every second of this walk. Oh dear! Oh! Can we follow it? Oh, there's the road. Oh. Alright, let's follow the road. Pretty sure it's just an invisible wall over here, though. That was cute! How did I miss this? While scaling the walls. <laughs> oh, what the shit? It's like a fucking mansion! Let's go inside! Yeah, open. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, look at this! Can we open all of the doors? Oh my god, we can! <gasps> There's the car, can we investigate it? Oh, it's warm to the touch. What is wrong with the hood here? Examine. Yeah, it's warm to the touch. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, let's go. Let's investigate this house further. It looks kind of lived in, yeah? It's got a pretty nice new radio, TV. Oh, it's busted though. That's a shame. There's somebody in here. We know that, based on the warm car outside, yeah. So, uh, yeah, brace yourself. We're in for- oh, a locked door is locked. Oh, bathroom. It's a huge tub, look at this. Nice. Oh, and lots of toilet paper. Good, you like to see it. At least whoever we, uh, encounter here is probably at least a bit hygienic. Why is this still knocked over? I assume there's no power out here. Bread. Fresh bread. More toilet paper. Oh no, a mug. <laughs> okay. Wine. Can't check their fridge. Oh, it's so creaky. Is there another floor? Yes. Yes, there is. Lots of wine. <laughs> Alright, nothing wrong with that. I don't judge what others like to do in the evenings. Or in the mornings. Been there. Let's check the store first. Yeah. Oh, bedroom. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Oh, oh, there's somebody there. Let's check over here first. Yeah, I'm not ready to talk to them. Oh, they have a guest room. Nice. Maybe I can spend the night here. Let's go see this person. Hi there. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Hello there. You surprised me. Talk to stranger, sure. He looks harmless. Hey. 
It has been a while since I had a guest. Yeah? Doesn't surprise me you're in the middle of freaking nowhere. Hmm. You look like you've seen a ghost. Is this a ghost? <laughs> Were you expecting to be shooed away? Don't be ridiculous. Think on it no more. It is an unpleasant night. Stay as long as you like. <laughs> okay, this is probably where all the different endings come into play. I didn't know anybody lived out here. Who are you? I'm sorry, I should just leave. Let's ask him who he is. Who are you? I am the keeper of this house. Oh, keeper of the manor. <laughs> For many years now, I have been its sole occupant. Yeah? As you probably noticed, the house has seen better days. I confess that I rarely go down to the lower floors anymore. I used to keep the place clean, but... Fate had different ideas. My fight against the slow decay has waned with age. Oh, but enough about me. Nobody would be wandering out in these woods without purpose. And you look like you need warming up. Perhaps you would be so kind as to share your story over a hot pot of coffee? I think I'd prefer some wine, but sure. That sounds great. Excellent. Ah, uh, I'm afraid that there's a small favor I have to ask of you first. The power is off, you see. Turning it back on will only require flipping a few switches on the box. Unfortunately, it is down in the basement. Great, this place is a basement. <laughs> Lovely. The stairs down there are tricky for a man of my age. I must ask that you go down and restore the power. We'll need it if we want that pot of coffee, of course. What do you say? Sure, yeah, I can do that. Thank you. You are most kind. Oh, I nearly forgot the door to the basement is locked, yeah, I recall. You had better take the key. After you are done, come to the kitchen on the first floor. Thank you again. Okay, let's... Oh, read, yeah. I'll read a book. Ah! I can appreciate your curiosity, but I am afraid that it is a private document. I must insist that you do not read it. I trust you understand. Can we read it anyway? <gasps> okay, no, he says the same thing. I thought he was gonna, like, murder me or something. Well, fine. I won't read your private document. Whatever. Uh, all the way downstairs and to the basement. Yay. Always inviting a powerless... Practically abandoned mansion. Yeah, open, unlock door. We're gonna die in here. We are definitely going to die in this building. Oh, it's a lot of boxes. And, uh, flour? Rice? Potatoes? Who knows? Sacks of something. Dude, why does he have so many boxes down here? Yeah, let's turn on some power. Just flip some switches. Uh, flip, flip, flip. That's pretty fun. Flip. Okay. And close. Done. That was kind of loud. Oh, okay. I thought there was going to be something behind me. <gasps> Just a rat. That's fine. That was cheap. Not cool. Oh, no, no. Don't close. I would like to get out of here, please. Thank you. Okay, to the kitchen, yeah? Why doesn't he keep the power on? I don't understand. Oh, the kitchen's this way. Right. Wait, hang on. First floor. Upstairs one. Kitchen on the second floor? Weird. That's weird. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, he's already got the coffee ready. Look at this. Hey! Well done. I must admit, it would be nice to have the power back on around here. It wasn't that difficult to do, man. I guess he doesn't really care for the stairs, but he got down to this floor, no problem, and clearly up to the third floor recently. Some of the wiring is failing, of course, and a few of the bolts have blown, but it has been this way for years. I can't fix things like that myself, you see. Anyway, enough about all that. The coffee is ready. Here you are. Yeah, take delicious coffee. Yum. Ah, that's better, isn't it? What were you doing out there in the rain, anyway? some casual camping. There are so many different options. Let's be honest with him, looking for a monster, but what if he's the monster? We'll say just some casual camping. Strange that you should find yourself becoming an intruder in my home, if that is the truth. Oh, I should have been honest with him. Ah, uh, forgive the tone. I know that you meant no harm. Besides, things are different out here. I have not spoken to a soul for many months. 
Once you leave, it may be many more before I speak again. <laughs> I should not burden you with that, though. With that thought. Is there anything you want to ask me? Yeah, probably. Is it a creepy living in the woods? How did you come up to be here? You were driving that car earlier, weren't you? It is the middle of the night. Why on earth would I be driving around in the dark? You tell me to. Could be someone else's in this house, too. You are mistaken. I have not left this building. Think on it no more. Stop telling me not to think on things. I'll think on what I want to think on, man. Is there anything you wanted to ask me? Yeah, sure. How did you come to be here? <laughs> My mother and father were gifted this house, and I was born in it. I've been here ever since. I know the building will soon be ready to crumble into dust, but it is not so simple to uproot one's entire existence at my stage of life. Is there anything you want to ask me? Yeah, sure, I guess we'll ask him everything. Isn't it creepy living in the woods? Oh, life in the woods is really very simple. I've heard of more upsetting things on the news coming from the city. That's fair. I am blessed with a dull life. Oh my. This caffeine isn't helping me at all. I may have to retire for the night. You know, this house has a guest room. I knew it, he's gonna invite me to stay. You know we're going to. I don't want to turn you out into all the rain. Why don't you stay here for tonight? Do not worry, it is one of the better kept rooms of the house. That would be convenient, yes. Wonderful. The guest room is at the end of the hall, on the top floor. I already found it, man, when I was snooping through the house originally. <laughs> I will be retiring shortly myself. Perhaps in the morning, you will find me to be a better host. Good night. Uh, eat a drink. Yeah, sure. May as well finish it. Can we talk to him again? The guest room. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I know. Good night. I guess let's go get some sleep. Can we read that book, actually? It looks like some sort of diary or logbook. Nearly three years since the new master took over. What? <laughs> I should have left the day it happened. I find myself a slave to his whims. Is he going to enslave us? Let's just go to bed. Or maybe we could just leave now. Let's just leave now. Or maybe he's enslaved by the monster and he's trying to get a new subject for the monster. Let's just go. Let's just go. Head home. I'll well, head to our uh, tent anyway. Oh no, I don't think I'll be able to find it again. Let's just sleep here. Yeah. I'll take better note of the direction to the uh, campsite in the next playthrough. Yeah. Oh, listen to it in here. Yeah, sleep. Go to sleep. Let's see what happens. Not the decision I'd be making in real life if this were me. No way in hell. I feel... I feel funny. Am I just tired? Maybe I shouldn't have drank the coffee. Did he drug me in the coffee? Probably. Shit. I will try to stay awake. But I feel... I feel drained. My eyes are heavy. I hear breathing. I think I hear breathing. Later that night. Oh, we're fucked. We are fucked. Can I get up? Oh, I can't move. <gasps> Paralyzed? Is it something he put in the drink? Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Is he trying to get in? Is he trying to get into our room? Was that. Did somebody lock the door? E to get up. Yes, please. Can't move. Oh, no, we are drugged. We're drugged. Good. Oh, shit. Let me out of here. I wanted to get up. Oh, this is like nightmare scenario. Being trapped in your body when you can't move at the mercy of <laughs> some freak forest man. <sighs> is pressing E doing anything? Should I keep mashing it? Ta escape the man or something's not right? I know. I need to find a way out of here. But I can't move, man. How am I supposed to escape the man? Or I shouldn't have drank that coffee. I shouldn't have drank that coffee. Yeah, pretty sure we're fucked. God damn it, why am I such a sucker for a delicious cup of chow? <gasps> okay, well whatever's gonna happen's <gasps> gonna happen. Oh my god! Yeah, we just gotta sit here and take it. Kinda less scary knowing that there's nothing I could have done. 
But damn, if we could have moved, that sounds scary. <laughs> you were never seen again. All right, let's play this shit again. One of the missing endings. Okay, so it's probably one good ending and two missing endings. So we're gonna play again. I'm gonna not drink the coffee, but I'm gonna stay the night and see if we can maybe escape that fucking thing. We'll see. Oh, <laughs> that was a good spook. Definitely missed that last time. This time we'll say looking for a monster. Well, that's interesting. I have been here for many years and I have seen nothing like that. Yeah, bullshit, buddy. These woods are quiet. <laughs> I'm afraid you may be on a fool's errand. Is there anything you want to ask me? Okay, yeah, so we'll just rush through all this. All right, this time we don't drink coffee. All right, we'll do that and the next playthrough we'll try just not agreeing to stay the night at all. We'll just leave and try to find our campsite again. Drink delicious coffee? No. Yeah, just sleep. I still have some coffee left. Oh, okay, so... I don't want to drink the coffee. It's not even an option. Okay, we gotta restart. Quit to menu. Yes. Oh, nice! We can hitch a ride. <laughs> That is incredibly helpful. I love it. So what if we still see the deer? This is awesome. Thanks, man. Hey, deer. You saved so much time. Appreciate the lift. Let's get in there. Do this all again. All right, no way I'm leaving. It would mean a lot to me if you stayed a little longer. I think it would do us both some good. Are you sure you won't stay? I said no. Leave me alone. That is a great shame. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 I see. It is a joke, of course. You have a keen sense of humor. Of course you will stay a while. Uh, I'm afraid that there's a small favor I have to ask you first. Okay, then he sends us to do the power. Okay, so we don't get the option to leave here. Uh, I can't do that. Oh, dear. I know it sounds unpleasant, but it can't be helped. You'll do this one little thing for me, I'm sure of it. Oh, I nearly forgot. Okay, so we still have to do it. You know when we say no? What the hell? All right. Oh. Let's do this. See if we can decline the coffee. How the heck are we going to get three different endings? We're pretty much funneled into staying in this shithole. <laughs> um, I'm thinking one of the options when we get the coffee, though, will be... Maybe we could turn down the coffee. I rushed through the dialogue too much last time. I didn't see if that was an option. He'll probably just be like, no, you have to take it. Oh, maybe if we read the book first before drinking the coffee? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah. Let's talk to him again. Go on, take it while it's warm. No, I don't think I will. Maybe we could just leave now. I think our tent might be this way. I think that was just the deer. Oh, what is this? A fox? What is it eating? Hi! Oh, that's a body. Oh my god. Examine. Oh, I could have done this. Oh, it's another tarp. What the shit? Oh, there's bodies everywhere. Oh no. What happened here? What could have done this? What the shit, man? I guess we should just keep following the road. Wait, where'd the road go? I think it was this way. Yeah, here we go. We'll just keep following the road this way. I thought that was my tent, man. Oh, the road ends here. Shit. This is where he was driving from. Oh, I think that's the end of the road. Let's keep looking for our tent, but don't lose the road. I already lost the road. Typical. So typical. Alright, I don't know what else to do. I guess we'll just take the coffee again and see if we can do anything different. Alright, take it. That's better, isn't it? No. Just casual camping. Yeah, we'll lie again. I'm gonna see if we can put it down the toilet, though. Oh, damn it. Now let's try read the diary before we grab the coffee this time. I don't know what else to do. I think I think one ending must be going back to your tent, but I get lost every time I try. So if we don't get any other dialogue options, that's what I'm going to do this go around. All right, let's go talk to Stranger. 
We didn't even get his name yet. That's fishy as fuck. <laughs> yeah, let's just try leaving. Try to find our way back to our campsite. Wish it was more obvious which path it was down, because honestly, this whole thing looks the same. <sighs> I feel like I'm on the freaking Blair Witch out here, walking circles in this tiny ass forest. <laughs> I mean, it's not even that big. Oh, what's that noise? Okay, no tent, no tent. Let's get back to the road. Pretty sure that was the sound of the monster. We'll go up a bit further. <laughs> Stab it. It's creeping me out. Oh, there it is. There's our tent. Oh, no, it's not our tent. Was this once our tent? You know, it's actually pretty hilarious we set up our campsite so close to- Oh, there it is! To some freaking human bodies just <laughs> barely covered by tarps. How did we not find that? Clearly we're not looking that hard. Yeah, enter the tent. Can we just go back to sleep here? Uh, read? No, okay. okay. I think we have to take the delicious coffee. Maybe we can come back to our tent instead after getting the coffee? Because it just- the task is just go to sleep. <laughs> Look at that fucking coffee. At least we know we have it in me to find the tent again, if I must. Drink your dis drink your disposal of the coffee. Why do I get that option now? Maybe because I went and found all those clues outside. Okay, yeah, we're pouring this shit down the toilet. I guess that's the ending we're going for this time. Uh, tub. So we can pour it down the sink. Okay, and then go to sleep here. Maybe we can actually escape that fucking monster. Hopefully it's easy because I'll be honest, there's still another ending I need to get and I don't really want to play through all this again. <laughs> it's getting very repetitive, believe it or not, doing the same thing over and over again. It gets repetitive. Who would have thought? Yeah, let's go to sleep. Go to sleep. At least this time we can get up, yeah? I shouldn't be here. I don't know why I stayed. It feels like I'm pulling on a loose thread. A thread that will cause everything to unravel. Yeah, probably. It is hypnotizing. I'm glad I didn't drink that coffee. Same. I don't think I can trust that man. Yeah, what gave you that idea? There's red flags everywhere in this whole manor. <laughs> I'll try to stay alert all night. Good call. Good call. Yeah, I don't think I'd be getting any sleep if this was me later that night. Okay, can we get up? I think we have to wait to hear the locked door. Can we jump out the window, hopefully? Hopefully that's how we get out. I don't want to have to run through the house because I'm not sure I remember what the setup is. Did someone lock the door? Yeah, pretty sure. Need to get up. Okay, out the window. Uh, what? Is there still nothing we can do? Can we still not escape? Are you fucking kidding me? Jump out the window, dude! This is just the same ending, except this time I can move around before it happens. Oh, but maybe we can run because it, when it attacks, maybe it doesn't kill us. Escape the manor, something's not right. I need a way out of here. Oh, there we go. Break the glass. Get the huh? fuck out. <gasps> oh, why am I looking at this fucking ceiling? Ah! Shit, what the hell? Oh, no, no. Don't get found for 27 seconds. Do I just run blindly through the woods? I leave the flashlight off. Just keep running, maybe. <laughs> this is tense! <laughs> 16 seconds. I think as long as we keep moving, we should be good. Don't get found for 10 more seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hopefully we don't have to find our tent. Because I am fucking lost. Five seconds. Let's go. Two. One. <sighs> Do we make it? Are we alive? Did we survive? <laughs> yeah? You continued running all night. And all day when you emerged back into civilization. You told everybody you could about what happened. They didn't even believe you. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. Nobody investigated. Seriously? Nobody cared. What? You know what happened. There was bodies, guy! Go take pictures of the bodies! Eyewitness ending one of three. Okay, so we still have one more to get. I think it might involve just getting the coffee and then going back to our tent to sleep because we can't enter it again. I don't know. Let's find out. We'll try our best. It's all I can do. Come on, come on, make it to the car. I want another lift. Yes! Did it. No! No, I didn't move far enough. I just needed to move one more freaking inch. Sometimes all you need is one inch. Ah, oh, I fucked up. Okay, this time we had to drink it. I think you had to go find all of the, um, 
creepy clues around the place like the journal and maybe also the bodies before you get the option to dispose of the coffee. But we drank it and this time we're just gonna head back to our tent and hopefully we can sleep there. Hopefully. I don't want to spend another night here. I've done it like four or five times already. <laughs> and the majority of those times were repeats. Which is not what you want to see when you're looking for multiple endings, no. No, you want to see something new. You also want to see a more happy ending. That last ending was not very, <laughs> very happy at all. Oh, there's our tent. Awesome. It's not so difficult to find yet. Get in there and go to sleep. Hopefully we can. Oh, we can! Yes! Sleep. In our nice, comfy sleeping bag. Out in the rain. In a tent. If it wasn't for the creepy manor and creepy monster, totally ideal evening. You wanted nothing to do with that man. Smart. I was very smart in this one and <laughs> bravely ran away. Ending three of three. Uh, I guess it's just about as good as the first one. Probably better because we didn't have that traumatizing experience where we get locked into a room, almost drugged, with a monster coming in to devour us. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that marks all of them. We found every ending. For this one, I'll say my favorite ending was probably where we don't drink the coffee and stay the night and have to run away. That was the most tense part, definitely. The ending where we were drugged and couldn't move, you just kind of accepted your fate. What else are you going to do? And then the third ending, I guess, which is kind of the secret ending, finding your tent and sleeping in there, was difficult because I kept getting lost in those dang woods. But I will say the game was creepy, the graphics were lovely, it was definitely fun picking up the clues and figuring out what was going on with this manor. And I like the realism of what I'm going to call the real ending, the true ending, the ending where we got away and we told the authorities and nobody even gave a shit. <laughs> of course, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, give it a like. If you want to see more like it, subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.